Alright, so, something new to the channel. I'm going to be um, reviewing recent TGF uploads. And if this is something you guys want to see more of. Because a lot of people keep saying they want answers from this recent video. So I'm going to run through the whole video and try and break as much down as possible. A lot of people keep saying, is it fake? Is it fake? I'm going to try and run you through as much of the video as possible. Don't know if it's going to do it any justice, but... I'm going to explain everything. This is England's oldest pub, over 1,000 years old and still standing. Some really scary stories have surfaced from this pub, including sightings of children running around, old Victorian women walking about, and priests hiding in the cellar. So gonna... basically, we had a uh, bit of information given to us before we actually went to the pub, because we were scouting for like the pub in the first place. We were scouting for a haunted location, I should, uh, I should say. And they basically told us that um, this place is like the... Um, England's oldest pub and there's been so many different sightings of shit happening there like little girls running about and stuff and apparently there was actually like it's notorious for this little girl running about but we didn't get any sign of this little girl but I'll get into more of the ghost stuff in a second we'll carry on watching be spending the night locked in here hoping that we get to experience <clears throat> paranormal activity you see that photo we just emphasised how spooky it looked we understand that that Luke Shadow. Okay, that's nothing to be like, yo, that's a ghost. I'm gonna be real with you guys. First hand. That's so, Luke Shadow. A bunch of items we're gonna need for this investigation. First off, a Polaroid. We'll snap away throughout the night so you guys get to see any activity that we spot. And of course, a shitload of Polaroid. Editing on this video was sick. With. Next, an EMF reader. Really, really According really to science to and shit, if a ghost is present, it should emit EMFs, which are frequencies that we can't see or hear with our. You see, the EMF thing. Not 100% sure on how that all works. It's just a typical ghost hunting piece of equipment that people do use. So we thought we'd try it. And it did go off. Like, it did go off multiple times. And we made sure that our phones and shit weren't near it. So it definitely wasn't our phones. But, yeah, Even it did go off a few ears. times. So this weird. tool will light up if we have a ghost present. Also, candles. Because we're going to be having a real attempt at contacting the spirits through a Ouija board. And last of nah. all, some childish energy. Hey. No, not a G Fuel collab. Some of our very own energy drink, which we spent months concocting. Look at food. that. Look at that. Childish energy is going to block. Do you know what? I've actually been drinking it most of the morning. One second. You see this? I have no words. I have no words. That childhood dream that drink is. Night. I don't feel welcome. Oh, oh well, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First jump scare of the video. They're going to give us like a tour of the pub first so we can kind of get to see. I'm going to run you over something I say in this video at the very beginning here because a lot of people are saying like, Jay, what the hell? You admitted all your videos were fake. Right, so let's play it and see what I say. Each room, and they can run us through all the stories that have kind of been floating around the area. This place is like a legend. It's so freaking cold in this area. Why is it so cold in this <laughs> Ramel, area? Ramel reaching for the ghostly vibe, saying it's cold around there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <Jay. laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> if someone was to leave out of us, I love this. If it would be the one that leaves you. Nah, that's yeah, a lie. Jamie, behind the camera, yeah? He's pinned to us, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. I am the Sony A7C at this point. <laughs> I can't oh. go anywhere. <laughs> I do not believe in ghosts. To this day, I don't believe in ghosts. I didn't. I fully didn't. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've... I need to see something to believe it, what, like, 100% other than other than hearing sounds and stuff that's easily explained. Like, I think it's just all bullshit until this video, until this fucking video... I go back on everything I've ever, ever said about ghosts and not believing in them. Like, 100% believing some kind of afterlife or different energies that we can't see and stuff. 1000%. Okay. But I want to be, be serious with you guys, yeah. Every haunted video I've ever done, I've lied. <laughs> I haven't ever heard shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, obviously... Um, I always just say mad shit, yeah, because I know what's going to make the boys laugh and set the vibe for the video. But right here, that is just me kind of like, how do I explain it? I think I was just trying to like be re as real as possible with the camera. So every if everything that happens throughout the video, I want it to seem genuine. I want people to know that we just weren't setting shit up. 
And in the past, I'm not going to lie, we have exaggerated some things. Like, you hear a sound and you just, you exaggerate it with the edit. But um, we've never faked, faked something to a point where it's like, okay, let's completely fool the audience here. Let's just completely lie to create a piece of content. That is not what we do. But this video, I, I just wanted to let the audience know that, like, I didn't believe in ghosts and shit. And I, I was almost like discrediting every other video we've done to try and make this one seem a bit more believable because it's genuinely haunted. Like, it's got a mad history of being haunted. <laughs> I just want to be proved. I really want to be proved wrong. Harry Potter's not real, bro. How can you rope? God, you see, you're taking the piss. This is how <laughs> black people get torched by his mistake. Bro, don't be that guy. It's not real. It's, yo, okay. weed your boards, yeah. Is that good? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Bro, see, that, that is real. <laughs> we take the piss. If ghosts are real, if some mad shit happens in there, I'll change my mind. Yeah, what's the definition of magic? Because you know when there's like a plant, there's like a planet in the Milky Way and it's like, it rains sideways diamonds. That's physics. Bro. Yeah, that's physics. Yeah, but like, that's like, it's, just, it's like saying, yeah, a newly discovered creature at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean, yeah? No, 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 listen. It's like, no, it's like a newly discovered creature at the bottom of the ocean. Technically, he's an alien. Alien is a term you give. I just went off on a tangent. I just went on the, off on the biggest tangent ever. What relevancy does that have to this video? To something you don't We had to go on a haunted bro, problem talking about oceans. Oh, I don't get it. Wait there, wait there. What if we get like some... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, guys, I want to hear your genuine opinion in the comments, right? Do you enjoy us talking this much shit? I need to know, I fully need to know, because, like, we cut so much out of the videos to try and make our videos as interesting as possible, because we're scared that, like, if we leave too much shit in there, you guys are just going to click off the videos and think, what the fuck is going on here? I'll click this video because that thumbnail's banging and you've delivered nothing but fucking relish. <laughs> You're in the eldest den in England. Yo, she texted this woman as well, she's sick. AD. What, what's the story about like the priest and stuff? They'd hide in the priest holes that we've got above the fireplace that was in fucked. the room. That was oh, so fucked. So that. basically, on the cut, on the um, edit, uh, on the edit, like the uncut version, she was telling us that Henry VIII used to look for these people and then Henry VIII's guards used to search all these pubs and stuff, but obviously they'd never check up the chimney and that's where they used to hide up the chimney because the priest would get killed for some reason. I don't know why. I think it was just something that they weren't fond of back then. That. Yeah, that's fucked. If you just look underneath and oh. look up, there's a there's actually a priest hole halfway up. Right there, so they used to hide in there. What would you say is like the most like I'm gonna say active part of the house, like weird shit happening? That back room. Oh, that's right there. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is where there's quite a few of us. See, we didn't feel anything in this room, which is weird. So were being watched or was somebody behind it was upstairs man upstairs the most okay. there was actually corrupt um, part of the house it was horrible a child and a dog that was somewhere in the pub and the little girl don't know whether she'd fallen from the kitchen window upstairs or the tap room window see that's fuck right. more just questioning a lady as well dressed in black with like a like a ah, yeah, and a hair in a bun. See, I found that picture on Google and I was just trying to emphasize what she saw. That's not what exactly what she saw, like, that is not what she saw. But, like, that's a Victorian woman, like a really freaky Victorian woman with a collar. So, I just tried to match as close as I could to what she was saying. But, collar, yeah, and a hair in a bun. I've seen her upstairs, and this video contains some mad shit, man. Can you feel it though? Can you feel that weirdness here? You can feel cold. I was so nervous. I, can, I don't know. I, I just. I, I don't know if I'm a bit nervous. My resting heart rate's usually about 75. Yeah, to 80. bro. Sitting at why am I 97 like BPM there? there That's bad, you know. That's fat that bitch shit, that is. Priests from the church to here or from here to the church. Oh, is okay. this the cellar? That nah, oh, that is, cellar was the. Loot. Nah. Just behind this wall, there's a. Creepiest thing ever. There. And it'd go down through the car park. But well, I thought I was gonna get sucked in, you know. The past week, he's got like a zip out the nah, she was capping, you know. I'm telling you. I don't know if the pub, I don't know if the pub hired her or some shit. But the way she came in out of nowhere and told us about like she keeps see like seeing shadows and weird shit in her son's bedroom is just like weird. Like, how did she know we were coming to do a ghost video? A pub obviously told her, and then she'd come around to, like, chat some shit because she'd get cameras on it. 
And if there's I don't movement, know. I get a notification saying like movement in yeah. the bedroom. Uh, maybe she's telling the truth. Like a strip yeah, account kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Look at me being all nice. <laughs> and there's no one in the Believe in everything she's saying to her face. And here I am. There's no one in there. Like to <laughs> Disregarding oh, everything she's saying. <laughs> we fucked it. We fucked it big time. <laughs> Are you a paid actor by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jamie. He's getting it in. Getting that line in. Okay, so something I want to recap on. This part now with CCTV Are camera. You a paid actor by any chance? <laughs> so you see these little things going past the screen right now. People keep saying, oh, there's something walking across the room. It's not. Okay, I'm just going to, like, debunk that now. That is the tape. Like, the footage has, like, some weird effect going across it. And uh, it's, like, generic CCTV footage, if that makes sense. Watch. See? So, we still have upstairs. But we zoom in on it on the edit because it's just good. It creates that haunted vibe for the video. At the end of the day, guys, you got to understand that we're, like, creating a piece of entertainment here. But, um, yeah, shit gets real. Shit gets real very fast. To have a look around at. Off camera. Have you guys done anything? Nope. No. What are you looking at? No. Don't do that! Um, Don't do that! Why is your eyes off? Like, bro, you were sounding confident in the car, man. Yeah, I know, bro, because I'm just like, it's, it's bullshit, innit? Well, I think it's bullshit. I think sort of ghost shit's bullshit. But it's getting to you now. Yo, if the people that work here think it's funny to play a joke on us, like, it's not because. You know, I collect, no I collect noses for a living, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You never see what happens when you scare like a black guy, bro. Like, it's not, like, ah, no. No, I swing. Bang. <laughs> no, it's I don't care, bro. See, more of it. More of the moving stuff across the screen. It's, it's not where those. I saw um, the lady. I'd got food in my hands and I nearly threw it all on the floor. It's as though you hear. Um, see, I don't know if I believe what she's saying at this point. I do know. Like, thousand percent now. But th at this point, the beginning of the video, I was just like, oh, come on, man. She's just she's just creating content with us at this point. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's the floor up here quite often. It's literally something off a horror movie. Isn't this it? room? A lot of the staff don't like no. it up here when it's No, when no, like, no. Like Never stuff. again. Never again am I going in that room. I hated that room. Can we all just, like, just agree, yeah, not to do any weird shit? Yeah, because I... <laughs> That's, I don't know, man. This place is fucked. Like, scale of 1 to 10, your belief in, like, ghosts. What, in general? This place like, is weird. In them. At this point, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of ten. tripping like bollocks. Six. I haven't had any weird stuff like that happen to me before, but I'm open to that stuff, so I'll probably say five bang in the middle. When I was uh, younger, my granddad's, um, at my granddad's wake, it was in the living room at our family home. And my granddad's best friend comes in. He comes in and he sits in my granddad's chair. And like, no one sat in my granddad's chair. That was his chair. And um, the bulb that was above the seat, his best friend sat down in it. And the bulb blows. The bulb blew what? above him. I believe in energy. Like, your, your energy will leave yeah. your body when you die. I believe you have a soul. Like, I wonder what you guys think of all this. Because, like I'm saying here, I do believe in, our, like, the energies that we can't see. Like... The, the spectrum of sound, right? There's so many frequencies that we can't hear, but dogs can, for example, or birds can and cats can. For example, you can't see smells, but you can see a smoke bomb. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and I think it's really small-minded to say that, yeah, but like, smoke is smoke. It's thick, you could see it. A smell may be thick as well. It just might not be visible to our eyes because we can't pick up on that shit. And it's the same with like, our vision, I feel like we can't see so many things, especially like energies and stuff. I don't know, man. That's my way of thinking about ghosts and spirits. Are your body that like, you can't see? We can't see so many frequencies or hear so many sounds. What throws me off is when people say they see full on people walking about that are dead. Like, I, I, can't, I don't understand the logic. No, I get, that. I, get, I get that. I get that corner down there. There's yeah, something bro. off about that. I keep eyeing it up, just man. because there's so much space to look at in it from down here. I it's keep dark. thinking. Your eyes are literally just picking out whatever it can. I am starting to um, hate the idea of spending 10, 20 minutes. No, why was that happening? Yeah, no, yeah, why yeah. was that happening? Basically, we agreed before the video, shall we do like some clips where we um, go off with our own vlogging cameras and spend an hour in each room by ourselves. It was a great idea to begin with. Like, when you're thinking, okay, video, okay, let's do this for some footage. It'll be really, really sick. When you get in there, your mind changes completely. My mind did a complete 180, and I was so against that idea. Not way in hell. And as Ramel says here, listen. The 20-minute time 
The 20 minute time keeps shrinking. Right now, I'm at six minutes. Six minutes. He's saying basically I'll spend six minutes alone with a vlogging camera and it's shrinking every fucking... Every minute, the time alone spent with a vlogging camera is shrinking for a mile. He's not down. And I don't blame him because I wasn't either. I'm glad he said this. <laughs> I can't remember sitting there looking at him like, yeah, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Keep saying that, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm backing you. <laughs> what was I facing a wall there? I don't weird, know. What. Yeah, very, very weird. Polaroid created a sketchy vibe. Having instant developed film photos like that. Added what mad tension to the night. On this Polaroid? There's something developing on this and it's fucking fucked. Are you ready for this? On the left side of this picture, behind my thumb right now, yeah. that's a mirror there. That's a mirror on the left side. That's like a shadow. That's just Luke, isn't it? Yeah, but how would that reflect to but me? That's right? what I'm saying. How would that reflect? The angle should be behind The you, shadow should be directly behind. Not next to him. That doesn't make any freaking sense. That's weird. The way that's positioned doesn't make any logical sense. Basically, it's guys, the shadow... Basically, I'm taking the picture directly in front of Luke. As the flash goes off, it's going to project a shadow directly behind him onto that wall. So, you've got the shadow on the wall. There's a mirror on this wall where you can also see the reflection of that wall. So, you're basically seeing that shadow on the wall through a mirror. Like, it's, yeah, it's like literally basic logic. But we were just in the zone. We were just in that fucking vibe. We were sketched out, so... It might be that's what that's what you do you question everything when you're in places like this it's weird okay let's let's okay yeah that's the logical reasoning no, 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 no. there we go another one else walking things yeah it's not a ghost this that shot is fucked that shot is fucked i actually hate looking at this shot right so you see this box here right no one else is in this building except for the guy who runs the pub and he's in the living room area which is literally like down a fucking corridor so he can't even like it we told him not to come in because we we didn't want to like capture like him walking about on camera because it would just like ruin the credibility of the video of like us actually spotting ghosts and stuff so we just told him to stay in the room and he was playing call of duty all night he didn't all night because we stayed in there till like what 5am or something but this box people keep saying somebody pulled that box i tgf promise that nobody pulled that box i I don't know how to convince you guys that nobody pulled that box, but nobody pulled that box. I I can swear on my mom's life. I could swear on any of my dead relatives' life. Nobody pulled that box. I promise you. I I bro, yo, I couldn't hand on my heart tell you nobody moved that box. I just want you to believe me because it really frustrates me because I know nobody pulled that. Nobody was in there. Oh. Royal Botanical Garden. Nobody pulled the box up, I'm issue. Look at the size of those keys. I wonder what doors are for. Okay. What was that? Do you hear something? So that's a real photo. I can't believe that's real. Like, bro. Oh, stop, dude. <laughs> I hate that room. I know that's why they chose This is God. weird now. Listen. Oh. Hear the two knocks. Hear the two knocks. So basically, me and Luke was sat down in the living room at this point, which is, it's downstairs, but it's not this end of the pub. It's the complete opposite end. So you couldn't hear us. Me and Luke were like, kind of like talking, like whispering to each other, making sure we're not interrupting with those guys' audio on their camera. And we said, okay, you guys go off and then we'll go off separately after. So it was like two little teams investigating the pub. That sound was not us. And we don't have an explanation for that because Luke, I mean, because Ramel and Phelan were actually stood still at this point. So... Don't know, but we replay it now, listen. Honestly, I don't know what that Don't know what that was. But this is the room where the fairy lights came on themselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. And as well, somebody pointed out, right? Somebody pointed out that you can hear the, the, the switch click. And I agree 100%. This is why I've been questioning uh, some things in this video. I think it was either feeling or Jamie reaching behind them and playing a trick on Ramel. But I asked them both off camera and they promised me it wasn't them. But you can hear the light switch. So, listen. Hear it. Hear it, hear it click. It's so, it's so obvious. Hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, and then it comes on. It's either Phelan or Jamie playing a trick on Ramel. But I asked, like I said, I asked them both and they said no. They promised. And 
off camera that I, I know 100% they would have told me the truth. That TGF promised as well, so... I don't know. They promised. I took their word for it, so... Yeah. Lads, 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 lads. What? what? They were not on a second ago, were they? Did you just, did you just press Oh, oh. as well, there's a... I know there's a cut there, right? But in the raw footage, on the uncut one, the lights start speeding up. And once they came on, they started cycling through the settings. Um, and for the cycle to happen, like for you to be able to cycle through, like the flashing, the really, fa the really fast flickering, and then a solid light, there's three different options. You have to keep pressing the button to cycle to which one you want. And nobody pressed the button there, and that's what's making me believe that was something right. else. You Watch, you fast that. It's oh, faster now than it was originally. The, the change in setting? It's literally going through the setting. Oh, bro! Go okay. No windows were open. This is what's killing me. The comments are saying, oh, guys, the windows are open. And these places have poor insulation. So, but I don't think, I don't think you can blame a piece of wind going past feeling Ramel's face going like that really fast on wind as well like it wasn't like a it was literally and it went past their cheeks and it freaked them out man it really freaked them out but i don't know oh bro weird yo, yo, really yo, really yo, weird yo 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 nah nah oh my god bro bro you can't yo feelings feelings you explain then right here's where it gets really really interesting yeah we i'm pretty sure i saw something here i don't know if miles are playing tricks on me but whatever and then Feeling and Ramel took a little walk up there to have a little look around with just a torch, no camera. As soon as they are up there, I have never ever been this freaked out in a damn video in my life, yeah? The sound of something moving behind us, we were convinced it was a table or a chair or a pint glass moving across the table, like right behind us. And then we got the CCTV footage back and then realized that it was a full-on box being moved. And I want to I wanna study this. I want to watch it because I've watched it about 50 times. Where I want to bring you guys in on it and do some explaining and digging in on it. Bro, bro, bro. I just saw something. I just saw something as well. I just saw something right here. Bro, I just right saw Right here. That. Swear my mom's life. Swear my mom's life. Something here just moved. Did you see that? Bro? Yeah, Did you fucking see that? About. Something's up there. Weird, man. The fuck was that? Jamie, 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 turn the fucking lights on. Jamie, something just fucking moved. Yo, boys, come down. Oi, come down. So at this point, me and Luke had something move behind us. We weren't too sure what it was, but we were convinced that somebody had moved something behind us. Yo, nah, 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 I'm freaking nah, out at this point. Nah, literally, nah, like, my heart rate nah, must nah, have been nah, like 120. Nah, I was, I was, I was hated this. Here. I don't want to stay in here. I'm on a fucking panic attack right now. Luke, you heard that, yeah? yeah I've heard that. I just won that. Oh, my <laughs> fuck, bro, bro. Holy shit. I'm freaking out. The chair I was freaking out fully. I hated it. Watch back the CCTV footage. Watch this. Nah. What the fuck was that? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. All we replay it. We replay it. skeptical about ghosts existing, but what happened here is unexplainable. Yo, Ramel, you hear a full-on creak, you hear the chair creak. We weren't too sure if the pub had set something up to prank us, but as of right now, there is zero explanation on how that box just moved by itself. It, it doesn't move fast. It's like a like a little movement. I, I, guys, I don't know how to convince you, man. Nobody moved that fucking box. Nobody moved that box. Here, I need answers to this. Creep. We weren't too sure if the pub had set something up to prank us. That's it. I believe in ghosts. I believe in ghosts. I believe there's something. Because that is too much. That is too much. Like, that's just not something that can be easily explained. Boy, yeah, man, it was the wind. Somebody pulled it. Nobody pulled it. I know nobody pulled that box. No one was there. No, We're going to look I'm at the Ouija board that. stuff now. But this, yeah. Yep, I was convinced Jamie was moving it. And he promised afterwards again after we turn off the cameras, that he weren't moving it. But one thing I don't like about Ouija boards is how slippy that planchette, is it? The planchette? I don't know how you say the word, yeah. It's spelt like planchette, but we're, we're moved. It's so slippy on that because that thing has got like a layer of like laminate, like plastic on it. And then the, the planchette thing is like really smooth as well. 
the slightest bit of pressure I will slide that thing across the uh, across the board I don't know I don't know if I believe that works but I do believe if you have an intention to contact something bad things can happen to you hence what happened to my back oh we're gonna watch it yeah I don't really like watching it to be honest but I'm not moving that after we after this happened as well we ran through like a list of events that happened that night to see if that that was something because we actually thought that i'd have scraped my back going down into the cellar because that would have explained it that would have explained it but the, the three marks i've been having quite a few people message me um let me let me show you guys first and i'll explain my back was burning at this point it felt like how can i explain it have you ever sprayed deodorant on your skin for a really long time and it burns you? I know that's a really, really niche thing to say and ask, but I used to do it at secondary school and it like scab my arm up because I don't know, I'm fucking weird. But um it was like it was like a really cold burn, like an ice burn, and it was just like burning my back. But it didn't feel like scratches. I didn't feel scratches and I didn't feel even a slow <clears throat> like that. It just felt like like heat coming from my back, like that's why. I'm not freaking out in pain. It didn't feel painful. It was just hot on my back. Like something was warm, like heating up rapidly on my back. Really That's weird me. sensation. Okay. You can see it in my face here, man. Talk to us. What's good? What's good? See, I'm lifting my t-shirt. When I lifted my t-shirt up, by the way, guys, I was expecting like a red patch until obviously they told me. And I watched the footage back and I looked at the, and I got pictures. They took pictures and showed it me. People have been saying that if you have three marks on you, it's the, it's mocking the Holy Trinity. I think along those lines, excuse me if I'm wrong, I don't know the ins and outs of all this stuff. But people are saying if you get three marks on you, it's uh, an evil or dark spirit or entity, something not human, like trying to mock the Holy Trinity. I don't know what that means, um, but... It it does it just don't sound good, does it? It just don't fucking sound good. But it's gone now. It's gone now. Not have it, I've not had anything. Uh... Okay. Anyway, um, so we just knocked on the window. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did my mic pick that up? Okay, it's probably just wind. Um. <laughs> Okay, as as I was saying, as I was saying, um, yo, one sec. It's wind, I think. I was getting, I'm freaking myself out. Um, so yeah, people are just saying that it's it's just not a good thing, but we move. Yo, 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 bro. It's scabbed oh, up. It's scabbed up and it's gone can now. Can we go home? At this point, I'm crying. What? I don't know if you can see the tears in my Bro, eyes, but I'm full of... I got tears, like, my eyes were, like, tearing up and shit. It was fucking horrible. Got a scratch and then when I went downstairs, oh, as you can see here, yeah, I'm downstairs. I tried to sit down, and I'm, like, shaking that much. My legs are, like, jelly. I'm knocking shit off the table. Bro, and I've it's, never... It's low key fresh. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Ramel hated this. Ramel hated this with a burning passion. <laughs> no pun intended. That's the most recent TJ video debunked. I hope you guys liked it and I hope I gave you some insight and answered some of your questions. If you do want me to do more of these, I am so, so happy to get these videos done on my channel. I, I'll literally review every TJ video that comes out from now on. I'll even go back and look at some of the old stuff and go through some other videos you want me to explain and go through and react to. Whatever video you want me to react to and give some insight to, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure I go back to the most requested ones and I'll upload daily to this channel videos like this. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. I'm more than happy to upload two or three of these a day if you've got the time to watch them. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.